So for doctors, this is a Procura of the Slim Ring. Uh, literally comes in a prepackaged sterile uh, application right here. I hold it with the forceps. For the patient, I put a numbing drop and a single drop of antibiotic. Linda, are you comfortable? I'm ready. Wonderful. And you tell the patient they might feel a little uncomfortable because it's a large ring, but most usually it very nicely adjusts if you follow the technique that I'll be showing you. And the patients, I like them to keep this on for at least five days for an impact on the healing. Right? Eyes wide open. Perfect. There we go. And in case, this is a more difficult case because actually she's had blepharoplasty. Her lids have been tightened in plastic surgery, but even then you see how nicely it slid into place. And here it is. Perfectly covering the cornea with the membrane and the ring is under the lids right here. Linda, are you okay? I'm fine. We're all done. Ready to go party. Excellent. <laughs> We've inserted the Procara, which is actually a ring, and you can see the underside under the under lid, the lower lid, and the upper lid, and she's very comfortable. If you look at the imaging there, you can see the edge of the ring right here, and you can see how it's beautifully covering her cornea, in this case, extremely dry, vascularized with an epithelial defect. And the patient very comfortable with the technique I just showed you. It takes a few seconds and without numbing, the patient tolerates it very well. Look down, Linda. Thank you. And if you see the upper edge of the ring is under, look down, Linda. Thank you. Is right there under the upper lid. Right there. And as long as the patient is comfortable and can tolerate it very well, which you can see here she is doing. Open your eyes, Linda. Her eyes wide open, comfortable, moving around. And I can let her go and let this heal her uh, with all its human placenta qualities. Linda, I'm very proud of you. Looks fantastic for doctors who are learning. Appreciate this technology. You can use it for ocular surface disease, corneal conditions. And I've also taught a lot of courses on how to use it in post-refractive surgery issues, healing and preparing these cornea. So, Linda, congratulations. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs>